I started interacting more and more with the natural world, trying to understand how to grow food, and all of that became my escapism, but has kind of become my work. I'm really lucky with that because I think that it means that I can kind of play all day. I think that it's important to keep a balance though in order to make sure that the play doesn't become work. There's something so magical about going up this alley and then coming out in an open space with the garden and the hills in the distance. And actually for me, that contrast kind of makes it even more special. Living in a more urban setting and engaged in a different career path, I definitely felt a real strong sense of needing to escape. Building moments of escape into our lives makes them so much healthier and more resilient. So now I'm connected with a community garden um, network that gardens around town rather than out in the countryside, which is really nice. It's about creating like a resilient network of people who are sort of plugged into a common vision. To me, play is movement and change. I think that it creates moments of excitement and interest and curiosity. And being away from like rigid structures that come with, I suppose, work and daily life, um, finding space to just be able to improvise and um, kind of respond to the natural world, I suppose. It shifts us from seeing landscapes as these big washes of green and instead we start to pick out the individual details which kind of focuses our mind even if I'm not gathering anything even just going for a walk and observing and noticing all the different plants and naming them in my head that practice is really soothing for me and grounding it's so easy to move so fast that we forget to play and we forget to have the moments of enjoyment and the moments of release. So by stepping away from that, it really helps to, to become, I guess, a bit more childlike.